23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I am Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Tuesday. California Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. Mark Galley is expected to continue the current stay at home order that's impacting the San Joaquin region which includes Kern County. The order to reduce local restaurants to takeaway and delivery only was one of several changes initiated to area businesses once the region fell below 15% of ICU capacity availability, a target that must be met in order for the region to come out of the shutdown. Currently, the ICU capacity for our region is at zero. The first order expired Monday, and in addition to the announcement today that it will be extended, is the four-week projection for ICU capacity. Taking a look at the numbers today, following a reported 16 deaths yesterday, there were two more attributed to the virus today, raising the total to 504. Now that, combined with another 766 new positive tests, raises the total number of patients since the start of the pandemic to 67,292. Now the number of daily cases are nearly 1,000 less than yesterday. Meantime, the Latino COVID-19 Task Force hosting another free testing event going on at the Fiesta Market on Pozo Drive in Wasco until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Free face masks are available for anyone that needs one. Another testing event will be held tomorrow at MLK Park in Bakersfield. For more information on those testing times and dates, go to our website, turn to 23com Let's bring in Elena and get a check of that Tuesday forecast. Well, yes, as we take a look outside, we had too much cloud cover and a nice cool breeze coming through today to allow any widespread fog to develop as expected. But tonight into tomorrow as high pressure sets up over the area, it leaves us with the stability we need and the saturated soil for that perfect fog recipe. So we're expecting at least some patchy fog. More likely we get the widespread dense fog tomorrow morning and possibly Thursday morning too. Then Thursday afternoon, a weak front comes on by with some cool air kind of stirs things up. Should leave us dry as we ring in the new year Thursday night into Friday morning with another chance of fog Friday and Saturday mornings. Now by early next week, it starts to get a little interesting. We have several systems trying to come our way, but will rain get this far south? We're going to wait and see. For now, expect highs in the 50s across the board with some fog each morning heading into tomorrow through the weekend. And that's a look at some of the stories we're following at this hour. Don't forget, you can track right along with us for the very latest breaking news, weather, and traffic anytime, anywhere on our free mobile and tablet apps or our website, turn to 23com have a great day.